What's up everybody? Today we are doing something really, really important. I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to properly expose S-Log2 footage. A lot of you who own the Sony cameras, especially the Sony Alpha 6300, Sony Alpha 6500, you guys know that these cameras are capable of shooting S-Log2. Now, some of you might be asking me, but what's the point? There's no contrast, there's no saturation, no sharpness, why should I be shooting S-Log2? Well, the main reason is because S-Log2 has a higher dynamic range. And what is dynamic range? Well, simply put, it's uh, the information between the shadows and the highlights. So let's say, you know, sometimes you're at the beach and you wanna film your friend doing some stuff, but you realize that all the sky is completely white and you don't see any detail in it. Well, that's why you shoot these flatter profile pictures like S-Log2, because you can get a lot of detail from the shadows and the highlights. Anyway, before I show you how to properly expose S-Log2 footage, there are things you need to know about this camera, which is gonna make your life a lot easier. And that's exactly what we're gonna be discussing right now. Let's go. This is not gonna be an obvious thing, so you will have to pretty much follow me you have to change your metering mode from multi to center. Now, when you originally unbox the camera, the metering mode will be set to multi. And the reason why you should put it to center is because all the information about exposure will be in the center of the frame. So that means you can point it at the ground. Let's say there's like a vase or something on the ground or a ball and you want to expose for the ball. Just center that ball and you will be able to get the correct exposure. If you want to expose for the skies, just point the camera up and expose for the skies. It's as simple as that. Just put everything at the center and you will be able to read the exposure perfectly. Anyway, that was literally the only thing I wanted to tell you before starting. So finally, I'll stop talking. Well, actually, I'll continue talking, but we'll actually get to the interesting part. Okay, so the weird thing about S-Log2 is that if you want to get the correct exposure, you actually have to overexpose by two stops. I know, that sounds weird, but if you don't do that, the clip is going to be very noisy. Here's an example. It's kind of simple to understand, just overexpose it by two stops, but where can you actually see that you have overexposed it by two stops? Well, on the Sony screen, there's a thing called EV meter, which is on the bottom right. So basically, if it says plus 0.0, .0 that means your clip is perfectly exposed. But since this is S-Log, Sony's wonderful S-Log 2, you have to overexpose it by two stops. So you have to get it to the point where it says plus 2.0. And that means you have overexposed by two stops. But there is a problem which I personally hate in Sony's. Basically, it doesn't show if you are overexposed more than two stops. That is very unfortunate because sometimes when you pull in at the skies, it will already say plus 2.0 and you're like, sweet, I'm perfectly exposed. No, in that case, I would recommend you to crank up that shutter speed or aperture to actually see that it's uh, getting below plus 2.0. Then just crank it back up so you see that it's perfectly on plus 2.0. So yeah guys, that's basically it. It's actually not that hard to get used to it. It's just the very first steps, the very first minutes of using it. It's kind of difficult, but once you get used to it, it's gonna be pretty easy. Hopefully you really enjoyed this video and I tried to be as detailed as possible. Hoping to see some great clips coming from you guys. If you wanna just show your latest edit, either put it in the comments section or just send me privately on Facebook. Anyway, you guys know I love cooking up dope edits for you. So this time he's gonna be doing a thing called cardistry. I consider it magic, same thing really. Let's go!